Yo, what's really good, brothers and sisters? I'm your host, your brother, your professor, Mr. O'Neill Barnaby, founder and director of the Black Math Academy, here with another video trying to rebuild intelligent black society through mathematics. Uh, on April 24th, uh, I posted a video on my Facebook page of a track event that I ran back in high school. Uh, so uh, in 2004, me and my teammates ran at the prestigious Penn Relay uh, track event. Um, and we won the four by 800 meter championship of America race. Uh, it put us at number one in the country at the time. Uh, and I was also able to get a track scholarship off of that. And it allowed me to compete at the collegiate level at the at a division one institution. So I figured uh, I try to turn that into an interesting teachable moment. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to convert uh, my speed in meters per second in that event into miles per hour. So you can see how fast uh, I really ran. So I'm going to show you guys the video first. And then when we get done, I'm going to show you guys how to convert my speed. So take a look. Yo, did you see that walk down though? See, I, I did have some talent back then. I was okay at track and field. Uh, but let me show you guys how to convert my speed. Uh, so this concept of conversion is called dimensional analysis. It's also called unit analysis, depending on which teacher you have. Uh, so first of all, we need to know my speed in meters per second. So that day I ran the 800 meter event in one minute and 55 seconds. Okay, so 800 meters in a minute and 55 seconds. Uh, but we need to convert that uh, in a much simpler form because we can't use this value uh, when we're actually doing the conversion. So we're gonna turn my minute and 55 seconds into just seconds. So how many seconds are in a minute and 55 seconds? So a minute is 60, 55 seconds plus 60 becomes 115 seconds. So I ran the 800 meter event in 115 seconds. Okay. Once we have that, we then need to convert that into how many meters per second. So every one second, how many meters did I run? So to do that, you basically divide these two, 800 divided by... Uh, 115. So when I do the division, I'm going to convert them all. I'm going to round them all rather to the uh, to the hundredth place when I do all the uh, dividing. So 800 divided by uh, 115 
is 6.96 meters every second. I'll just put S instead. So I ran just about seven meters every second in that event. All right, so from here, uh, we're gonna need to know uh, how many kilometers are in a meter. So we're gonna multiply this by one kilometer over 1,000 meters. So there's, there's 1,000 meters in every kilometer, All right? Now we need to know uh, how many miles are in one kilometer. So we're gonna multiply this. We got one kilometer is equal to 1.61 miles. Actually, one mile is 1.61 kilometers on top. So 1.61 miles in every kilometer. Right now we need to know uh, how many seconds are in a minute. That you should already know. We've got 60 seconds in one minute. All right. Now uh, we have everything we need to do the conversion. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where things will cancel out. So you have meters on top here and meters on the bottom here. So that cancels out. We have kilometers on top here and kilometers on the bottom there. So that cancels out. And then from here, you have seconds on top here and seconds on the bottom there. So that'll cancel out. And what's left will be miles over minutes. Uh, we want miles per hour, so we're gonna need to know how many minutes are in an hour. So there are 60 minutes in an hour. So we can multiply that, 60 minutes in one hour. And we have a few more things canceling out. We've got minutes on top here and the minutes on the bottom there. So that cancels out as well. And what you're gonna be left with when you do all the, the simplifying would be miles over hours. And that's what we want. We want miles per hour. And that's exactly what this is gonna become in the end. So now all we have to do is just multiply straight across like you would any other fraction problem and then simplify uh, in the very end. So when you do all the multiplying, I'll uh, write the answer down here, you're gonna get 25, that's a, that's a bad two, 25, 25,056 all over 1610. All right, so 25,056 over 1610, and that's again miles over hour. But obviously, that's not going to make much sense. We had to actually simplify the fraction itself. So when you actually divide these two, 25,056 divided by 1610, what you get in the end is 15.57. Uh, over one, which is just 1557 anyway. So 15.57, and that value is in miles per hour. And there you have it, folks. That is actually my speed. So in this event, my 800 meter event, when I ran a minute and 55 seconds, my average speed for that event uh, is 15.57 miles per hour. So not too bad. Uh, you guys should actually try to figure this problem out, uh, by using Usain Bolt's record. He, um, the Jamaican, uh, superstar that is the fastest man in the world. He has the world record for the 100 meter event. He ran it in 9.58 seconds. So see if you can use the same conversion rate, uh, knowing that he ran the 100 meter dash in 9.58 seconds. All right, there you have it, folks. Uh, another example of the Black Math Academy demonstrating to you guys why we are clear and concise and articulate, which makes us without peer, and we are your premier source for mathematics tutoring. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow all of our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And always remember, 
that we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Math is where it's at.